All right, so I'm sure by now everybody's heard Sprinter by Central C and Dave. I think it's one of the hardest tracks to drop in 2023 and it got over 13 million streams in one week, which is the highest ever for a rap single. That's crazy numbers, man. So I want to show you how to make similar beats so you can go ahead and get your own 13 million streams. And if you do, I want 99% of all royalties or you can just subscribe to my channel. Leave a one will be fine. But let's get straight into the video. All right, so I've got FL Studio open. And first things first, we need to set the BPM. Sprinter is actually at 139, but I think you'll be fine with anywhere between there and something like 143. When you want a similar vibe to something, I feel like one of the most important things is sound selection. And for these Spanish sounding beats, I've been using a few different guitars recently. So my top three right now are the Ilya Efimov nylon guitar, the flamenco guitar in UVI, and the ukulele in UVI if you want to try something different. But if you want that authentic Spanish sound, maybe go with this flamenco one or the Ilya one. And I'm not recreating the beat in this one i just want to go for a similar vibe and when i'm creating a similar vibe i feel like the most important thing is sound selection for the scale i've got d minor selected right now but i'm going to change it after it doesn't matter too much about what scale you're starting because you can always pitch it and i want to make a catchy melody and for catchy melodies there's a couple chord progressions i like to use so i could start on the root note and go down five So they'd be the base notes of my two main chords or I could do it the other way and go up five. The sprinter track kind of revolves around that same trick as well because it starts on an A chord and it goes up to B and then E but really they're the two main ones and it's just down five. So yeah let's see what we can make. So we'll just start with a basic triad we'll get the root note on top again and then if you want it more natural we can invert the middle one and you don't want the notes playing at the exact same time unless it's intentional then I just press alt and s and just strum them a bit. Otherwise you can play the strings separately like this. Or just play around with it, see if you can get an interesting bounce. Or we can do a combination of everything. Could add another note. And then just cut this. From here, let's maybe go to the fourth note. And we can repeat a similar process to see how it sounds. Kind of like the sound of that. So these can be the two main chords. We can make it a bit more natural though. Let's try to switch it up now. So maybe we could come up to A sharp. And then here's where we could intentionally go out of the scale to get more of a Spanish vibe. So the root note's D. I'm just going to use one down from D. Something like this. Let's pitch the whole thing down a bit. So I like those. We take these and pitch those down as well. Or maybe that goes there instead. Yeah, it's a good foundation. I'll press Alt and R just to randomize everything, make it a bit more natural. We'll bring the velocity down too of everything. Just so it's played a bit softer and then we can boost it here. All right, let's take it to the next level and we'll just get a few more bass notes in. I'm gonna copy these back up. Let's make another cut there. All right, now we need some kind of top line. So I'm gonna copy that over. And we'll do it in a separate pattern just in case I wanna take it out at any point. And let's take that MIDI and test it in Ilya FMOV as well. I think I'm actually preferring this one this time. Okay, let's get a count melody in. Maybe bring that back. Just randomize that velocity and then copy it over and add a couple more notes. I'm gonna press Alt and U to chop it. I think I wanna bring this up too though. I have this here. All right, so now we've got the guitar chords and then we've also got the counter melody. I'm gonna press Control, click and drag over them. Right click on an empty channel and then root to this track only. Now we can just do a bit of processing. And yo, if it looks like I'm sweating right now, it's because I am. It's crazy hot in this room. People in the UK just don't have air cons. So if you appreciate me sweating for the tutorial, make sure you like it and subscribe to the channel. All right, so we've got IC20 open. I think we'll just use the vinyl one preset. Bring this down. I like to add a bit of vintage chorus as well. Let's bring down the mix a bit. And then some plate reverb with the width down. And this down too. Okay, and I want one different section where the guitar is going to stop. And then I need a sound of someone hitting a guitar. So let's see what I can find. Let's copy the MIDI in. And I'm going to cut it there. And let's cut here. 
Yeah, this one will work. So the Evolution Modern Nail on Guitar, another nice bank, because I like these sounds at the end. Just send that to the same insert. That's better. Okay, so I want the guitar and some percussion to be the main focus of this beat. So I don't need to add too much to the melody, but I found this sound in arcade that I like. But I'm going to record it into Edison because there's some other parts that I want to take from it. Alright, so let's drag this in. I just want that for the first part. And then in the second one. I want to take this part, maybe that too. I shall take that beginning bit. And then I'm also going to take this, make it unique and then reverse it. And just see if I can find something to finish it. There we go. Need some reverb on that too. And then also some delay. All right, next up is going to be percussion and I'm going to use this Cuba Bank in contact and I'm using the Salsa Ensemble. This is just going to give me some bongos and other bits of percussion. Probably going to layer that with something, but it'll work for now. Okay, let's get a bongo in. more yeah i think this band sounds sick just want to find something to layer that main snare with so you already know what kit i'm gonna go to of course it's the divine bundle and i'm thinking we could just layer it with a rim i'll just bring the out up could even pitch it up all right, so for the bass, I know a lot of people are probably wondering what sound they used. And I don't think I found the exact one, but this one's pretty close. I'm just going to take out some of the lows of the guitar. And I just want short, plucky notes. Turn this up. I'm also going to add Decapitator to it. And let's try the dark, fat preset. Okay, let's try this. I managed to take that bass as a one shot. There we go. Just wanted the notes to be a bit more consistent. And with that bass, I want more sub from it, but instead of processing it, I'm gonna layer it. So I'm gonna take the deep eight away from my source boom bap kit. I'll copy the notes in, just fade it a bit, make sure it's set to cut itself. So together, it's gonna sound like this. Now I've added an EQ to both sounds and I'm taking any high end out of the 808 and just leaving the sub. And then with the other bass sound, I'm taking the sub out. You'll probably need headphones to hear it, but this way I'm just getting the tail of the 808. And it's not clashing too much with this one. It's just gonna sound better on some systems. Okay, let's get a kick in, and I'm gonna use my go to kick. I like the punchiness of this one, and in the sprinter track, the kick isn't way too powerful like a dark drill beat, so I feel like this one's perfect. Just change this bit here. I'm not joking when I said it was hot in this room, man. My camera just died because it overheated, so I need to speed this beat up. I do think the percussion's missing a bit high end, so I might try and add a shaker or a counter snare on top. Just change that for a shaker. I feel like it fits the vibe more. All right, cool. Let's just add something to finish it off. I think we just go with a simple fill. Thinking something like this. Yeah, there we go. Then I'll use my clean riser from my splice kit. Whenever I'm using reverb as well, I tend to use the same one on each sound so it doesn't sound too confusing. Then I can just change the amount. <laughs> Lastly, I'm gonna add my flash. Probably seen me use this per clothes as well, but I really feel like it fits the vibe of these tracks. 
Just sounds good with the percussion. Okay, I think I've got enough now. So I'm not gonna go ahead and split this. And I just wanna try and do a quick arrangement before I melt. We'll copy it out a couple of times. Start with the chords. Just realized I think two layers of these guitars have been playing the whole time. But I can cut that now. So I can play the short version of the guitar. Then I can bring the counter in. And then maybe the percussion could come in here. And then the fill maybe. I'm gonna save the counter. Yeah, that's it. I'll take out the flute for 16. All right, here's what I could do. So I could take this out here, take the shaker out here. So yeah, have it build up like this. Take out the flash here. So I'm just gonna have 16 bars here and then 16 for a hook. So we'll bring the fill back in, cut everything here or here. And then maybe we just switch up the bass a little bit. That same pattern again. Yeah, that might be the one. And then we'll just copy that into the 808 as well. All right, and then at the end, I can just cut the percussion. And then from here, let's copy it. But in this part, we'll just add a bridge as well. So we'll bring this over, we'll take this part, and then we could just keep in something like the shaker. Yeah, that might be it. And then just have to fill one more time. If I really wanted to, I could add some vocals in the bridge as well. So I've just found these vocals in Splice. Just added my usual vocal mixer chain. And I think that's gonna be everything. So let's have a listen from the beginning. So just starting off with the short guitar. Then the percussion. So yeah, I'm starting off with the verse. Obviously after the intro. Using the shaker now. And then we're coming to the hook in this section. It's a bit of a different structure. But it's kind of similar to Sprinter. New A weight pattern. Slowing things down again for the second verse. Start the shaker again. The only difference is now I introduce this bridge section with the vocals. So yeah. If you're feeling this one and you want to see more melodic drill tutorials, click up here. Or for 50 cent type beats, click up here.